Well, in case anyone missed it last postseason, Jason Tatum actually led the playoffs in scoring. To put that 615 points in perspective, Michael Jordan surpassed that total only three times out of his 13 playoff runs. Likewise for Kobe out of 15 postseasons, while LeBron has only had two playoff runs with more points and Steph Curry has only had one. None of that seems to matter much after that epic gag job perpetrated by Tatum in the NBA Finals a year ago. And now he is up to his old tricks in the semifinals of this year's playoffs. It gives me no pleasure to do so, but let's check out the reasons why. Jason Tatum is a hot pile of garbage. Yo, what's up guys and welcome into the channel. If you enjoy the video, please make sure to hit that subscribe button below. Now let's get into it. And as I highlighted, Tatum's postseason a year ago was pretty epic. Until, that is, he got into the NBA Finals. And the Celtics actually had a 2-1 lead in that series. But they would never win another game from that point on, losing three consecutive games to get closed out and give Steph Curry his fourth ring. In the elimination game six of those NBA Finals, Tatum had 13 points on six of 18 shooting. For the series, he shot a heinous 37% from the field and an even more puzzling 65% from the free throw line. It appeared as if Tatum came into this season on a mission for redemption as he had the best season of his career and one of the best seasons of anyone in the entire league this season as he is a presumptive first team all NBA team member and finished fourth in MVP voting for this regular season. Tatum put up 30 points per game, nine rebounds and five assists in the regular season while shooting 47% from the field. The Celtics were on cruise control in this semifinal series against the Sixers, a Sixers team who came in banged up with Joel Embiid nursing a knee sprain while missing game one of this series, a game, mind you, that the Sixers would ultimately win. The Celtics would go on to split the two games in Philadelphia to even the series at 2-2, traveling back home for a critical swing game five in Boston that had the Celtics favored by seven and a half points. Not only did the Sixers win this game, they blew Boston off the court, and you can look no further than their leader, Jason Tatum, as to why that is. Sure, he had the 36 points, but he shot an abysmal 11 of 27 from the field, had a very slow start in this one, and he registered a game low minus 26 for the game. That means his team was outscored by 26 points when he was on the court. Fucking 26, a minus 26. Woof. To further complicate matters, Tatum is, by all admissions, a huge Kobe Bryant fan, which respect for that. But he's likely taking these comparisons a bit too far. Maybe lay off a bit until you win anything of note, at least until you stop choking all over yourself in high leverage moments. Speaking of which, Tatum has a massive game six looming on the road now in Philadelphia. They were here in this same round just a year ago after falling behind 3-2 to the Milwaukee Bucks and Tatum responded in that game six in Milwaukee, dropping a massive 46 points on 17 of 32 shooting and seven of 15 from the three point line. He had better hope. History repeats itself this year or else Jason Tatum is just adding another page to a chapter of a book he doesn't want to be writing. 